Hello and welcome everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe in their houses and doing well. Our today's topic is diary entry. So before we start about the actual process of writing diary entry and talking about the format and other things, before that, that we will discuss about certain things that what is diary writing, what is the history behind it, from where this culture has come and all these things. So let us begin with what is diary writing. So diary writing is basically a personal recording of certain writings which record your thoughts, reactions, emotions and feelings. We all have heard about that proverb that paper has more patience than human being. Suppose you have some secret and you don't want to say that to anyone. So you will write those things in your diary and for you all the secrets are safe in the diary. So that is diary writing. Now let us know what is the history of diary writing. The diary writing has started in 2nd century AD by the Roman emperors. At that point of time it was known as journal. So they used to write each and everything whatever is happening during their days. Okay. And if we know that there are many people, there are many famous people who used to write their diaries and from their diaries we come to know about many different things like Leonardo da Vinci, Christopher Columbus, Marco Polo, Marie Curie, all these famous people from all uh, different different places or different different fields used to write diary writing and from their diaries we come to know about various things. So we can say that, that these are the great source of knowledge for us. Now there are certain uh, diaries which has also published as books. One of those we have already read many times, a uh, diary of a young girl of Annie Frank. Other than that, Bhagat Singh when he was in jail for 140 days, he has written diary entries for all those days and that was published as a book as Bhagat Singh Jail Diary. Other than that, Kasturva Gandhi's diary was also published, APJ Abdul Kalam's diary was also published and there are many other presidents and scientists. Those people used to write their diaries and it has been published as a book and we got a huge amount of knowledge from that. Now will come to the actual topic that that what is diary writing we have done that now we will talk about that what are the features when we are writing a diary and what are the things which we have to remember while writing a diary when you are writing a diary it should be written in informal and creative language okay so as you understand that by saying it that key when i am writing a diary that means the diary is my friend so we cannot write anything formally in that. It should be like a conversation that you are saying, sharing your feelings with your friend. So that's why the language should be informal. It should be written in first person like I, me and all this. It should be written in first person and in past tense. Obviously in past tense because you are talking about the event which has just happened or happened on that day. So that event has already taken place. After that you are recording that in the diary. So that's why it should be written in past tense. It usually starts with the day, date and time at the top left corner. Uh, at first you will write, I, I will discuss that in the format. This will be followed by greeting similar uh, like dear diary or something like that. The important events of the day are usually recounted or written in chronological order. What is the chronological order? That means the thing which has happened at first, you will write that at first. Then the another one, then the another one. Okay, suppose you are writing diary about something which has happened at 7, 7 am. So you will start writing that. After that, which is what the thing which has happened at 8 am, you will write that thing after that. So that is called the chronological order. The, uh, the entry may include the writer's state of mind comments on the event. 
कि सपोज दस दो थिंग्स वॉट एवर इट हैज हैपन यू विल राइट दैट अदर दैन दैट वॉट यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट ओके वॉट आर योर फीलिंग्स दैट वेदर द थिंग विच इज हैपन वॉज हैपन गुड और बैड ऑल दो थिंग्स यू कैन राइट ओके सो यू हैव टू राइट फिक्शनल थिंग्स एज वेल एज द नॉन फिक्शनल थिंग नॉन फिक्शनल इज द पार्ट वेद एक्चुअल हैपन एक्चुअल थिंग एज हैपन एंड फिक्शनल इज द पार्ट वेद वॉट यू आर थिंकिंग एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो दैट वॉज फिक्शनल सो दो थिंग्स यू हैव टू राइट यू हैव टू राइट योर फीलिंग्स ओके एंड इट एंड्स विद द राइटर्स राइटिंग हिज और हर फर्स्ट नेम एट द एंड यू विल राइट योर फर्स्ट नेम एंड दैट्स हाउ the diary writing will end now we'll discuss about the important points that what are the important points while writing the diary entry we have to remember language must be informal as i have already told you use short sentences and record different happenings in different paragraphs obviously you have to write short sentences if you are making big big sentences then there is a chance that you will make mistake and make a writing grammar or anything like that so that's why make short sentences and one incident in one paragraph okay there is no foundation that how many paragraphs you can write but you have to remember that what is the word limit the word limit is 100 to 150 words so you have to be strictly in that put more emphasis on emotions and feelings while describing the events as i have already told you in the last slide that you have to talk about the emotions and feelings that what you have felt about that incident okay the thing which has happened that only that to you have to describe but other than that you have to also describe that how you have felt about that particular thing that is called the diary entry maintain the word limit as i have already told you now we will move on to the format of the diary writing so format of the diary writing is like this that at the top left corner you'll write the day and date at first so write monday comma 17th june 2020 nobody will write the date like 17/5/2020 okay that is wrong okay the way it has written in this format you will write the date like that after that you leave a line and then you will write the time it is always a thing and it has been seen that when the entire day is end after that we write the diary so always mention the date at night so write like i have written here 10 pm so you can also use that time after that you leave a blank line again and then you'll give the salutation which is dear diary and then again you leave a line and then write the entire body of it then at the end you'll again leave a line and write your first name and that will be the format of a diary right now we'll talk about the marking scheme okay for class 9th the total mark of diary entry is 8 marks so the teachers used to divide these marks in this way the for the format like day date and dear diary and your writer's name and all these things include two marks then four marks for the content that what you have written in the diary one mark for accuracy that whether the grammars and all these things are correct or not and fluency one mark for that what is fluency that ki while you are writing you have manage all the incidents in a chronological in a chronological order or not so that is called the fluency the total of 2411 marks is 8 marks so that is how you are going to be scored now in the next two slides you will be able to see there are two examples which i have given and you have to note those two examples in your notebook and after that i have given an assignment also of two questions that you have to solve it by your own i'll request all the parents to help their wards to complete this and whenever you'll come to school we will be 
checking all those homeworks. So till then, stay safe and stay at home. Thank you.